Madam President, um, this amendment reflects the uh, efforts of a lot of people to deal with rural post office closings in a way that will be uh, straightforward and fair to rural communities across this country. Uh, it, it is going to uh, prevent any closings for one year while the reforms that are embedded in this bill have a chance to begin to work. It then sets some clear standards for uh, potential closures. Uh, I want to thank uh, Senator Moran, who did some great work on this subject in committee. Uh, he deserves credit for beginning the process of taking a hard look at rural post offices and how we were dealing with them. I obviously want to thank uh, Senator Merkley, who's worked on this, Senator Tester, who's worked on it, and Senator Sanders. But I really want to thank uh, uh, Senator Collins and Senator Lieberman for continuing to model to this body what true bipartisanship looks like and who continually strive for that very elusive and rare but valuable commodity in a democracy, that thing known as compromise. Uh, this amendment now represents one of those compromises. I'm proud to be a part of it. I think it strikes the right note of protecting rural post offices, but also with a realistic eye towards the future and how we are fair to rural communities in a way that is predictable and one that um, frankly shows some accountability for the Postal Service.